Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Teresa and I'm also well known as Mongo Every Cook and Boom. So today, I mainly do makeup videos, but today I'm doing something different. I'm actually going to be talking about natural hair mistakes that I am currently making and I'm going to be sharing, you know, the recommendations of what to actually do, you know, instead of, you know, this ongoing cycle of making mistakes over and over and over. The first thing that I have done that has helped me to get more information, you know, in terms of researching all this is just really YouTube. You know, searching for how to take care of natural hair, you know, specifically for C. Just wanted to declare, I'm not a natural hair YouTuber or expert. I'm just going to be sharing my experiences, the things that I'm doing now that I already know that they're making my hair break dry and are just not recommended, are just not keeping my hair healthy. And also manipulating it a lot. But I'm going to be telling you about all those things that I'm doing. Please click subscribe and please like. I'd really love for you to join my small YouTube growing family. Well, in 2018, I went on acne treatment and I had to cut off my hair because my scalp was just giving me issues. So since then, um, I've just been cutting my hair, cutting my hair, and then I just decided to grow it. But at the time that I decided to grow it, I wasn't necessarily like on this natural hair journey trying to keep it healthy and stuff like that. It was just short, right? But over time, as it grew up, I was like, you know what, let me actually invest in it, you know, um, I can at least twist it. It's long enough. So that's when I started. So every other week or two, um, I wash my hair, keep it in twists, and then maybe after some time, take out the twist, just comb it out, you know, t just detangle, and then the next day maybe like twist it again but for quite some time i've been like watching youtubers you know i'm with natural hair like fussy hair just giving recommendations as to how they keep their hair healthy moisturized hydrated and how that ultimately fosters growth actually i started um i think every other two weeks started washing my hair using a shampoo now the issue with the shampoo that i have been using all along i think i bought it probably in like feb and now it's August, right? Um, the the issue with that, and according to what I have watched um, and what I've heard works, is a shampoo that is moisturizing. On top of that, um, a shampoo that does not have sulfate as an ingredient. The shampoo that I use has that. So, um, after this hairstyle, <laughs> I'm gonna stop the, the using that shampoo and I'm actually going to be using this apple cider vinegar. I bought it at Pick and Pay. It's the Nature Cho Nature's Choice Whole Food Specialist Filtered Apple Cider Vinegar. And that's how it looks. And it's the, like I literally bought this yesterday and um, I got influenced and natural hair YouTubers were recommending that try using, you know, apple cider vinegar um, as a shampoo or rather as a cleanser instead of a shampoo because a shampoo sometimes may be a little bit too dry so instead of going to get like a shampoo what i'm going to start doing is actually using the apple cider vinegar to just um, use it as a wash and then rinse it off because obviously right now my hair is extremely dry like i just haven't been doing it right and every time i shampoo it's still dry i wasn't using the right shampoo as well that is like friendly you know to natural falsy hair and things like that number two mistake that i'm currently doing is that my hair is always manipulated as you can see my hair is in a hairstyle mode and i'm not entirely sure if this is like protective hairstyling i don't think so because i used wool so like i don't think so every time i do this my hair breaks and it's dry every time i go home Every time I go to my mom's house, like, she always says, oh my god, this hair does not look like Let me just, like, you know, plait it for you and just neaten it up, you know. And I'd be like, no, 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 I shouldn't be doing anything to my hair. I should just let it, you know, remain in, in its natural form, you know. That's how it will stay moist and healthy and stuff like that. <laughs> but then sometimes I just give in. So sometimes I just let her do my hair and I'll say, ma, you know. 
please because usually when your hair is like this you don't really feel like you have to maintain right but the issue is that it's not being washed so if you can stay with this type of hairstyle for a month which is possible it does, you don't really wash your scalp so you're not really washing your hair every time i undo this hairstyle my hair is so dry so dry so i don't like let's just not do it let's not manipulate it too much the third one is that i don't, I don't moisturize my hair <laughs> So you know the lock method how you start with a liquid and then you use an oil and then you go with a cream or like a butter i don't have that so all along i'd literally just wash my hair using that shampoo in the shower and then i would actually start twisting it so i'd grab my i have a, a conditioner a leave-in conditioner that i use from country i'd use that and just you know um, put it on my hair using the prayer method, you know, and then start twisting my hair and put the oil as well together. But I never used the the cream or like the moisturizer to actually lock in that moisture. So I find that my hair is not as moist. And a solution that I found and seen, um, you know some youtubers using was that if you don't have a cream in the meantime i've seen people actually use vaseline they um did not entirely say if it's something they use in the long term or not but something that they used and um you know it defined the hair so nicely so um i'm not really clued up as to is it an every week thing this vaseline thing or what but i've seen probably about three popular natural hair youtubers like use the vaseline in one of their tutorials to show how to apply it and what benefits or what it can help um with your hair one two three and the fourth mistake that i am still currently doing is that um so i have not actually been wearing a duke you know when you have like short hair like there's no <laughs> like what is this short like you, you know you just don't see the need excuse me you don't see the need to put in like effort and wearing a duke and stuff like that it's like short at the time i was just like there's no need right and when i manipulate my hair like this um then i would wear a duke right and all along it was a cotton duke as of late probably about a two months ago i just invested in one of my silk dukes and started wearing that because i heard that the um the benefits of wearing a certain duke is that um it, it keeps or rather just keeps your hair hydrated um versus a cotton material duke so this is how the material looks like it's very yeah it's like cottony i don't know how to put it but it's not encouraged however this one is very silk um material as you can see like i'm not sure the difference between silk and <laughs> satin but um they're close enough so i use that actually you know not necessarily wear a duke but sleep on a satin pillowcase that's something that's also recommended yeah one of the other mistakes that i'm doing right now is that i don't deep condition my hair I'm yet to learn how to deep condition. I'm still just trying to see if, you know, my hair will, you know, stay healthy and can be well maintained and things like that. Because I've seen, again, YouTubers, influencers do that routine and it's very beneficial for, you know, the health of our hair. I'm not entirely sure, I think it's done once a month or once a week, I actually don't know. Um, but I know that it's something that, you know, is done. The last, <laughs> but not least, mistake that... <laughs> like, I can't believe I'm still making all these mistakes. Nonetheless, is that I dry my hair with, you know, like, maybe after, like, after you wash your hair, I would go use a towel and just dry it up, right? And apparently that is not the way to go. Um, apparently um, you need like a microfiber towel 
or like a t-shirt an old t-shirt that type of material or you can just let it air dry i'm willing to explore all those options so yeah if you're like me and you know you're really still trying to figure out and you know i'm trying to really invest in your natural hair i hope some of the solutions that i've read about and some of the research that i've done will help you and yeah um i'll see you in my next youtube video mm -hmm.